everyone. It's Adam, Chief Security Officer at Act Zero, and today I'm going to break down for you the top use cases for AI within the Security Operations Center, both the threats and the defenses. Now, these top four use cases are ranked from top to bottom, and it's from our experience in our relentless pursuit to build the autonomous SOC by harnessing all aspects of AI wherever we can. And so the first place I want to talk about AI being deployed is on endpoints, including iOS, Android, Windows, Linux, Mac, those cloud services that aren't serverless. They all run applications, roughly 50 to 80 of them. And for each one of those, there's about 7 to 12 vulnerabilities per line of code. To give you an example, Windows has about 50 million, TikTok about 15. So it gives the attackers opportunities as they learn to debug and extract those types of vulnerabilities to maximize the capability to develop zero days. Or well, if you were to say the average time to pull out one of those vulnerabilities and make a threat for an attacker or engineer is 15 to 20 hours, imagine how much you could cut down that time if you could 1,000x multiply that debug capability with AI or dark AI. The top threat to your endpoints is the ability to develop those and have nothing be able to stop them. Being able to eradicate those on all the different devices you have when your average user brings one and two of those to the network every day can be quite a challenge. So as an example of how we've deployed countermeasures in the SOC, machine learning, specifically on-device machine learning and cloud machine learning, gives us an opportunity to find and stop zero days across your enterprise. At Act Zero, this is responsible for roughly 40% of the types of blocks that we've put in place on your devices. Tough is that most people want to protect their endpoints because it's hard to chase those around in the middle of the night when an attacker's got a hold of one of them. But the second most targeted uh, environment is obviously your cloud and email, right? And probably your top, depending on you know how many phishing clicks your, your users are likely to put in. And so the second place we want to be able to deploy machine learning is on log analysis. The data that's coming from your cloud, your network, your endpoint, it's all very important information for us to find and stop cyber attacks. And if you imagine Imagine a world where deep fakes and other types of phishing emails are going to start to be leveraging AI, large language models to make even more accurate, better fakes uh, that are going to come into your inboxes. We have to have something that can detect the nuances that doesn't rely on the user's ability to identify this thing with their own eyes. Now, the number three place that we want to be able to invest uh, in uh, AI is, of course, across all of the environment. So while we want to protect the endpoint in number one and the clouds and email in number two, we want to be able to synchronize this information for the types of attacks that are going to go under the radar. It's very easy for a SOC to develop a policy that says, if I detect malware, please block the endpoint from the network. Uh, but it's difficult to say, what if an attacker is just sort of going around my network, into my cloud, through my firewall, onto a device that maybe doesn't have an anti-malware agent on it? And this is one of the things that we developed at Act Zero called Sixth Sense. It is an ability to correlate all that information and raise the awareness that an attacker is in your environment, even though you may not have an endpoint or a cloud log that says, hey, bad guy over here. Important to finding all those uh, attackers quickly and eradicating them. The fourth and final place, which is a gift for all of us now that we've got these commoditized large language models coming out uh, from uh, great places like, you know, OpenAI and, and Google, uh, Facebook, all giving us these LLMs to play with large language models. And what that does is give us an ability to interact with our IT systems as we would a person, right? Get a complex query. And instead of having to research and create all these nesting SQL statements to find out what's going on with something like a SIM, we got a large language model to talk to the AI. Uh, like we would an analyst. Not only do we have the ability to harness all these detections and all this uh, amazing correlation, we have the ability to look at the information succinctly, quickly getting forensic data, having the AI tell us in plain English what's going on, asking it questions like, are there any devices connecting to Office 365 that aren't running an agent? Things you couldn't necessarily ask your SIM to do because it's maybe not logging everything and incapable at this point of using LLMs uh, until they get their software updates in. If you'd enjoyed this, please tune in for other uh, videos uh, from uh, our department here. I'm the Chief Security Officer at Act Zero, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw today.